All right, let's take a quick sideline on our chibi here. I want to do another new project. I'm not going to save this one. I'm just going to use this as an example for gradients. But I am going to change it to pixels. And go ahead and do 1024 by 1024. And I'm going to do two shapes out here. I'm going to do a circle, holding down the Control and Shift key. Control Shift C to turn it into a path. Just put it up there somewhere. And then a rectangle. So I don't really want it to be square. I'm going to turn it into one. Now I'm going to go over here and make sure both of their opacities. I'm going to turn them both totally black. First, let's do the circle. If you watched the last Chibi vid video on the eyeball, you already saw a lot of this. But from the very get go, I'm going to turn my opacity, my optimacy, my alpha <laughs> up to 100%. So you see all of it. And I'm going to go ahead and just add five points. But if you notice where it puts those points, when we inject, we insert, I want one on each side of my center. Now for center one, that's not the center one, of course. If we go to G, we can see sometimes which one we have selected, and that's kind of important. So that's our center one, and we're just moving our way out. So that one I'm going to leave black. It's going to be my outline. Make sure I get rid of my stroke paint on both of these. Get rid of the stroke paint. Go back to G. So for this one, I am going to take it straight out right. No, wrong row. For this one, no, that's the outside curve. Okay, that's a good example though. Take this one to very gray. And then move our point up just a little bit. Now on this one, I'm going to take it almost to the same color gray. And I'm going to move it, the black one out a little bit. Now with our black one, our next to last black one, We're making a very sharp edge. The closer this point gets to there, the more black it gets. So with that black one, I'm going to take it all the way to white. If you notice, our center is very small now. So I go back to here. I want to, well, I want to insert one right there after that one and turn it totally black. And I want to pull it. And that is going to make why did you see that? It, it just did that to me. It really just did that to me. That's fine. And you actually get start to get a 3D bevel to the whole thing. So looks let's go down to our linear gradient. And this is the one where you can really get 3D bevel. Now the gradient is going left to right. We want it to go top to bottom. So I'm going to hold down my control key. First move that to the center. And just pop it up one. Hold down my control key. Force it over to the center with line straight. And get it closest to that line as I can. Closest to that line as I can. Now I'm using my scroll wheel to scroll in on it. It's as close as I can get. Okay, now I'm going to turn the alpha all the way up to 100%. I want to add one point that adds the center point. I want to add one after it. I want to add one before it. I'm going to add one more after that one. And I want to add one more after our center point. So that's really going to be tight. 
and I'm going to turn my outer edges to about 50%. So we already start getting kind of a beveled look to it. I want my center point to really be, to look like it's really down there. So I want to actually edit these two. Let's say 25% on both of those. And we start to get a rippled look. Now, if I want a sharper edge on this, which I do, I want to select this one way up here, sort of point right after it, and make it the exact same color of the edge that I want. Pull it down just one. Now I'm going to go back up here. It's at 50%. And I'm going to pull it as close as I can to the black one. And the closer we get, the sharper the edge but it still has a little bit of a beveled look. Now, when we go away from it, we can see, actually it's way too beveled. I want a little bit of gray in there. Now, I probably want that gray to be less than 50%. Let's say 35 for both of these. 35 for this one. The closer you get, the point is, the closer you get these together, the sharper the edge is. You can get a really nice 3D look out of a lot of this stuff, out of the gradients in Inkscape. And if that ever happens to you, what just happened to me? Just control Z. <laughs> it's just Inkscape. So now I have a different like channel going down the center of this, and I have a bevel up here, and the light's hitting this up here, and this is definitely underneath it. So I have some kind of industrial or sci-fi thing going on. I just wanted to add that in. It's just a simple gradient class, because you see people struggling with gradients, and it really comes down to Hit the G key. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Hit the G key. And how far you have these apart from each other. Moving them. Make sure they're all up here. You will you know, you see a really professional uh, vector graphics person. Hit either Adobe or Inkscape or Corel. Any one of them. Corel Draw. And you will just see gradients. Uh, gradient totally full from left to right. With just a thousand little points. And um, we don't have the time to do that. But that's basically the idea behind gradients. Now I've kind of rounded this off. It's kind of, uh, should be, it should actually look sharper like this is out farther, but it doesn't. It looks like it's still caved in more. It just does. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, God bless. See you in the next video. We'll get back to the chibi.